Did you know you can actually set your fingerprint with two finger with one fingerprint? I'm going to show you right now. Right now, I'm going to go into my fingerprint and I'm going to take out my original fingerprint. Usually, when you do your fingerprints, you're going to do one fingerprint at a time. But in here, I'm going to show you this time that you can actually do one fingerprint. Okay, I'm going to take this out, remove, remove, and remove. Okay, and I'm going to show you something pretty, pretty cool. So I'm going to set up the fingerprint and then we're going to continue. And this is S25 Ultra. So you can try it on your other phone and see does it work. Register. You can set up two finger at the same time. What does this do is when you unlock your phone in the future, it's actually quite fast. Okay, so go like this, like that. And yes, it's done. Okay, now when you try to unlock your phone, it's actually pretty snappy. So today I'm going to teach you 10 more different tricks on your Samsung Galaxy phone. And these are very unique features that you should know. Small features, but Samsung tend to close this all these features, but we have to turn it on or they never advertise. So I'm going to show you some of the tricks that you might not, you might want to know. And let's get started. So you may think, why do I still use the old style bar right here, look at uh, notification bar. Why do I still need this bar right here? Because I can add features inside this bar. So I'm gonna show you to you right now. All you have to do is you go to good lock. You can see good lock right there. And then once we go to good lock, we can add cameras, we can go to the screenshots, we can do whatever we want. So we're gonna to go to the nav star right here. And then when we go to the nav star, we're gonna en enable, okay. Go to next star and then press new and then we're going to go to button layout and then now we're going to go to add button so we are just going to add something useful okay don't add silly things just use something useful so to me i think useful features is cameras and screen capture so i would like to put cameras in the bar right down here and then i can hold this and move this okay and then I can press done. Now I can press save. Now you just need to reselect the one that you just did. So I will say, okay, this one here, this is what I did. And now you can see it add the camera button at the bottom. Now you can see it's so small, right? So you can make it bigger, so easy to press. So every single time when you need to turn on your camera, you don't have to search your camera, you don't have to do the side button, you can do the side button for something else now. And now you just need to press and now you can turn your camera just like that. So Samsung never really advertised these features. So Samsung never advertised these features, but I would like to just show it to you. It might not work, it might work, but hey, why don't you just try it out? So go to the setting, and then we are gonna go to the thief protection. You can see that, okay? And now we're just gonna go inside. And then we're gonna go inside. So basically what happened is, if you, um, let's just say someone tried to steal your phone, by the motions, by the way that they take the phone, they can identify that like, hey, someone actually stole your phone. Then they will actually lock your phone. Until when you re recognize it's like, oh, my phone is locked, then you go unlock it. So we talk about, we will talk about the next features. It's actually, when you go one out, you can see that. Thief, theft. Protections on the top is actually Find My Mobile. Everybody should know about Find My Mobile. This is a Samsung feature that is very, very important. However, if you actually on a default without transferring your old phone to the new phone, usually you will see this offline finding is off. And then send the last location is off as well too. You have to turn them on. So let's just say if someone stole your phone and they turn off your phone, Okay, so you cannot find your phone. However, if you actually turn this on from the beginning, they will actually send you the last location where the phone is. So you need to turn these on just to protect yourself. So every time when you lost your phone, they will still send you the last locations. 
on any ultra phone you can actually use your very very highest quality on your Samsung, Samsung Galaxy device on the ultra phone so if you go to the setting and if you go to the display if you scroll all the way down a little bit there's a screen resolution if you do not really care about battery life because you still have a lot of you know you have plugs everywhere you go you have plug in your cars you can actually change to H, uh, QHD okay instead of F FHD on the default when this phone come up from the box they will put you FHD however if you actually just change this the way that you watch your videos the way that you take the pictures it looks so much nicer than any other phone out there and this is just like a tv you're watching a tv just on your cell phone so make sure you go into your display and then go to screen resolutions and make sure you turn this on don't waste your s25 ultra s24 ultra or even s23 ultra because they allow you to do this so there's another features on your lock screen on the one ui 8 i believe right now so let's just say we're going to go into the lock screen and then i'm going to type in my password i'm going to show it to you right now so this lock screen is actually related to the clock right here so if you look at the clock right here you can see there is so many different clock but in especially right here you can see this clock is actually moving back and forth what does it do is it actually will match with your picture they don't they try to not to touch your picture at the same time you can see that okay and you can see the clock is actually moving in addition if your clock is on uh, some type of like uh, in the dark area you can see that then the clock will be lighter you can see that right so if I on this area then it will be make it darker okay so this is actually one of the features that is on the one ui 8 i believe because my s25 ultra still cannot do this but on my flip 7 i can do this with the clock features so let's just go into calling we're going to go to the setting and i'm not going to show it to you right now because i don't have a phone call but did you know that you can actually record your calls but every single time when you press the button it will be on your left middle side when you press the record button they will let the your friend know that i'm going to be recording your phone so big speed button big speed will tell your friend that we will be recording and then it will start recording so this is pretty useful if you actually want to do some like um evidence i'm, I'm not sure but it's already at the inside already okay so these are the recording um trial that i did before and then it will save it into your force recording app and then you can just go back and take a look and then that's it pretty pretty simple there is one feature so i would like you guys to look into this and it's pretty pretty cool so let's just say when it's sunset nighttime you don't want this phone to still stay on blue filter okay which means that this screen has a lot of blue filter inside so it will make your eyes not good especially at nighttime inside the setting here in mode and routine samsung already put this very neat features you just need to turn this on and then that's it right here you see relax okay you can see that relax if you go into any of your phone they have all these little nice features here and then if you go to the relax they you can actually tell the samsung to put the blue filter turn it on okay so let's just say turn this on okay and then add more actions and then you can say like oh i need to have a blue filter or action and then i usually just say blue filter turns on and then that's it that's all i need to do i convert shield and then adaptive so you don't want to do it customized but just to adaptive and then press done now you can see this so every single time when they they depends when it's the sunset because they have the clock in here then they will turn it on by themselves and then that's it 
so during this video you will see a lot of stars coming down because I have a lot of notifications and I purposely let you see it but how do I do that how do I get these star notifications out so it's actually pretty pretty simple all you have to do is you go to the good lock okay we're gonna go into good lock and then when we go to good lock we want to go to ash lighting we're gonna go to ash lighting plus once we go to Ash Lighting Plus, you can customize by your words. So let's just say if this word comes out, they will come out with like hearts, whatever. Let's say your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, whatever. However, if you say, okay, in general, we want to do it by icons, okay? Customize icon. So you can actually do that or customize style. So every time when I have a notifications in general, my star will come out. And then in here, you can ch change your color too. So you can see that was blue stars, right? And then you can even change to how small it is, medium size, and then amounts, how many amounts, but you can see there's a lot, right? And then rotations, things like that. So basically this is the way to go for. You can see that because it's a WhatsApp, it came out WhatsApp. But if I turn this off, then it will turn to stars. So, and then that's how it works. Pretty, pretty simple. So go turn it on in your good lock, Ash Lighting Plus, all right? And I would like to show you another features. If you actually on a dark mode, on a light mode, like a daytime mode, I would like to change this wallpaper. Dark mode have a wallpaper, day mode have a wallpaper. So I can tell myself like, oh, when I see this wallpaper, I know I'm a, on the day mode. So how do I do this? You go to the setting, you go to mode and routine. When you go to the mode and routine, there's a routine right there. So once you go to mode and routine right here, so when you go to mode and routine here, you're going to go to plus. If you're going to go to plus, you want to press if. So let's just say we want to go to the dark mode. We're going to turn on the dark mode right there. Turn on the dark mode. Okay, on. So now we want to change the wallpaper. You want to change wallpaper. And then, so let's just say we want to change the home page wallpaper, not the lock screen, but the home page. You can change the lock screen too. So let's just say I would like to put an iPhone, or maybe I put this one here. Well, what is this? But anyway, so I don't care because iPhone. And then if I turn on dark mode, and then home screen so you just need to press save and then put a name and then that's it so this is dark mode one so if i change my thing into dark mode then 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 it will change the wallpaper as well too you can even see that my background change as well too okay so you can do it like that so now let's just say if i turn this back off you can see the wallpaper is gone and that's how it works if you want to let yourself know if you're on the dark mode on or on the light mode so this is gonna be a bonus features if you notice on your one ui 7 one ui 8 i think one ui 8 okay so you can see the scrolling is up and down right now which is pretty good i would say but some people like that okay going through vertical how do we change that in order to change that there's only one way is when you sort customize order and now you can do it this way that's it if you are not used to this features right here too bad because samsung doesn't allow you to do anything else except you customize your own orders now you can do horizontal but if you like you know what for me i love doing a vertical i think this is the best way i don't have to switch pages and stuff like that all right please subscribe my channel and share this video and i hope this video helps you a lot and this is the 10 and plus one extra features for you to learn about your samsung galaxy phone and i guess i will see you next time bye bye peace out